Welcome back YouTube. Welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in and watching. Today what I have for you is a quick video on how to remove this door panel on this 2011 Ford Flex and we're going to replace the mirror as well so I'll show you everything it takes to do that but the first thing we want to do on this door panel is go around the perimeter of this door panel and remove these Phillips head screws. Okay so there's screw number two underneath and then just to the left of that, screw number three. And then there's two along the side here, one there and then one above it. So we're gonna remove those. So after all those perimeter screws are removed, we're gonna take a small flat tip screwdriver and there's a little spot right behind this handle and I think I switch here to a little bit uh, larger screwdriver but you just pry on that carefully and pop that cover off of the door handle and what that's going to expose is a 10 millimeter bolt that goes through that door panel into the door and there we go so there's the 10 millimeter bolt we're going to remove that with a ratchet and a socket right there. So we'll get that done and we'll move on to the next. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is right under this pull handle on this door panel, there's another cover. We're going to take that uh, same small screwdriver and right along the edge of that cover is a opening where you pry from the top. And there I zoom in a little bit and we're going to pop that open and expose another 10 millimeter bolt and we're going to remove that. So I'm going to use my ratchet and my socket. I'm also going to add an extension. So you may need an extension to get in there properly or a nut driver or something of that nature but it's going to be a 10 millimeter bolt to remove this. So that's what I'm going to do here. <clears throat> and there is one more screw here and it's hiding under this little uh, reflector light. It's not actually a light, but you're going to take again that small screwdriver and pry down on it a little bit and it's going to pop right out. And then you're going to remove the Phillips head screw that's in there. So now there's a little uh, guide pin right behind the mirror. So you're going to need to lift up on this just a little bit and then pull out and it should pop right off. I'm going to show you the guide pin right here where my finger's at. That's uh, It kind of snaps into a hole behind the mirror. Um, it's not really difficult to pull off. So just wanted to let you know about that. So now what we're looking at is the back side of the mirror. It's got, I believe these are 11 millimeter uh, bolts. 11, 11 or 12, don't quote me, I'm sorry, but I think it's an 11 millimeter. You have to remove this plug from the mirror and you just depress that little uh, tab there and then you can pull it loose and remove these two 11 millimeter bolts. Or nuts and then there's a 11 meter 11 millimeter bolt <clears throat> right there I'm removing it now okay yeah here I'm switching from a 10 millimeter to the 11 I believe <clears throat> so one of them is a 10 millimeter one's the an 11 or maybe even a 12 it looks like maybe a 12 so now I'm going to remove those bolts and I wouldn't take them off all the way I would just loosen up you don't want your mirror to fall off and if you need parts off of it break it or anything so just uh, leave one on a little loose and then you can go around here and wrap your arm around and just take off the last one and pull this mirror free
So now what we need to do is we need to remove that chrome cover and it's going to go on the new mirror because these mirrors are quite expensive from the dealership and the cover is a separate piece and I'm going to show you how to do that. Um, the glass needs to come off and if you get pry under there just a little bit it comes off pretty easy if you get in the right section. It's hard to see but once you get that turned up so you can look in there, I get a little light in here <clears throat> so you can see. Okay, so finally right here I get behind that and you can see where it pops loose from the uh, mount. And then you can, I unhook these, I think I unhooked one. But then I'm going to show you what's inside and there's some tabs that hold that chrome trim piece on. So right there, <clears throat> I'm trying to show you here, there's a chrome loop that slides through there. You need to push that down a little bit as you kind of pry on that chrome piece to loosen that up. It's kind, it's a little bit difficult. The top ones are a little easier than the bottom ones, but there's the two top ones. And there's one for the side that comes out pretty easy okay but you kind of got to pry it kind of wiggle it loose as you're prying it get each one free and then you can pull it off you will break them if you're not careful and there's you know you can fasten it a different way to the mirror but it's always good not to break them so so here's a good look at the new mirror right there you can see that's where the slide that's where the those four spots openings, that's where the cover slides in. There's the tab in there that you need to pry that little chrome uh, trim up so you can pull out. And then on this one, I think you pry down. So you pry down on the top ones and up on the bottom ones, and then you can release that chrome cover. So that's how you remove a mirror and a door panel on a 2011 Ford Flex. I hope this video was helpful. It is a little struggle getting that uh, chrome cover off, so just be patient and you can do it. And if you don't need to do that, that's good too. But there are the tabs on this cover, you can see. So, that, so you know at least how it goes together and how you can remove it. So I appreciate each and every one of you watching. Please like and subscribe. If you like doing DIY home repairs on your vehicle, I have a lot of videos on paint and body and mechanical repairs and how to do those types of things. So please like and subscribe. We'll see you next time.